Lindsay here with your What's Up Wednesday tip for today, and it is all about annotating on your Promethean Active Panel. You guys, this tool is magical, and it will let you annotate on top of whatever you have displayed on your panel. So easy to do. So this will be for your version 7 or version 9 panel. It's an app already built in. There's nothing you have to do besides click and open it, okay? So let's talk about it. But I'm, I'm on my nine panel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I was in my web browser, Chromium. I've got it pulled up. I've logged into my Google Drive. And I've got my math worksheet that we, my students have done. We're about to check it. And so we're going to have some students come up and annotate on top of this to show what work they did in class. No problem. On the version nine panel, you're going to go to the three dots in application. And you're going to choose annotate. On a version seven panel, you're gonna to go to your locker and then choose annotate. Here's the thing, on the version seven, if your annotate, when you open it up, doesn't look like the one that's gonna display up here, no worries, it just means you need an update. So you would go to your locker, find the update app and update that panel, but do not do it right before you have to start teaching. That is an end of the day or beginning of your planning period activity because it takes a hot minute to run through it. So I'm gonna select annotate I waited too long. And it's gonna open my annotate toolbar. Now mine opens like this because this is how I had it last, but you can click it, drag and move it around. And if I drag it to the bottom, then I can dock it horizontally and then move it around if I need to. I prefer to do it um, vertically. So I'm gonna pop it to the side and then move it. Okay, so you've got a pin and a highlighter on here. Click once to select it, twice gives you different thicknesses. Boop, highlighter, boop, okay. You've got your colors underneath, and if you select a color, it's gonna change it. If you press and hold on that color, it's gonna give you more options. Let me go, wait. Yay, okay. So all you do, y'all, is just annotate right on top. And so if I want to highlight, pick my highlighter and I draw. If I want to use the pen tool, that's all I do, select it and write, whether it's with your finger or the pen that comes with the panel. Now, if you've got palm erase turned on, you can palm erase, or you have an eraser, but you can erase. You also have the undo button, okay? And you have a trash can. So if you need to clear all the annotations off the page at one time, hit the trash can and boop, they're all gone. Now, I've done that accidentally several times so that undo is there for you to bring those things back. Okay, here's the thing with annotating. Once it's on, basically what happens is it freezes the screen and it's like it almost leaves transparency on top and you're writing on top of that transparency. So it's awesome, but if I want to scroll, I'm on problem one and I know there's problem two I need to get to, notice it's not letting me scroll. So here's what you do, okay? That icon by that terrible arrow that I just drew, the eyeball with a line through it. When the eyeball has a line through it, you are actually annotating. You can disable annotations, but watch what happens. I stopped annotating, all my annotations disappear, and now I'm able to scroll. But as soon as I hit that eyeball, those annotations come back. So I'm just gonna go back to where I was. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, if I've annotated over this section, I'm done with this, I don't need to save it, I'm good. I am going to hit the trash can first, then hit the eyeball. Trash can clears it. Eyeball lets me move. I'm gonna go to problem two. Then I'm gonna hit the eyeball again, and now I'm able to annotate again if I need to. So it's phenomenal, love it, super easy to do. What we found was a lot of teachers were closing annotate and then reopening to get to the next section. You can also do things like this. Trash that, eyeball. I can go to a different tab, and on that tab, I can pull get to where I need to annotate and then I'm able to annotate again, okay? So super easy to do. Just remember the eyeball is what kind of turns annotating on and off so that you can scroll. Here's the other thing though, and this is one of my favorite features. 
the icon that you have, that is the screen capture icon, the camera with the box. Let's say I've annotated over this and I realize mm, this will be a really good tool for my students to have. I can hit that screen capture icon. It's gonna give me the pop-up window where I can crop out just what I need. And then when I say done, it's gonna give me some options. Now, on the version nine, your only option, I mean, on the version seven, your only option is gonna be open and whiteboard, which is totally fine. But on the version nine, you have the option to do quick save, You can do which saves it to the panel. You can do save as, and if you've got that Cloud Connect connected, your drive or your OneDrive, you can hit the three lines up here, stick it in drive, drop it in there, and then share with your students. Or, You do have the option to open in the whiteboard, just like you would on the Titanium or a Nicola version 7 one. Okay, and once it's in the whiteboard, you can save it from there as you need. But it gives you the option to save it. I'm just gonna trash this because I don't really need to save it. And then finally, if you annotate, when you go to close it, you click the X to close it. If you have annotated and not saved it, it's gonna give you a warning saying, hey, you're about to close this. Do you need to save those annotations? Because once annotate closes, those annotations are gone forever. You're not getting them back. I'm just gonna say no, but if I would say yes, it would open up that screen capture window and let me screen capture it. I'm just gonna say no. My annotate toolbar goes away and then I'm able to continue working on the panel. But y'all, you can annotate over anything. It is so easy, so easy. No extra work, just pop that sucker up and write what you need to write, highlight what you need to highlight and you're good to go. And if you need to save it, you have that option as well. So that is how to annotate over anything on your Promethean Active panel. Hope this tip was helpful and you guys have a great rest of the day. See you later.